In today's video, I'm going to show you a very simple blitz out of the $1.326. It's going to allow you to get instant pressure on your quarterback. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, I post Madden 21 tips and tricks every single day on YouTube. And we post four of those videos a day, one at 2 o'clock, one at 4 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock, and one at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I also live stream every single day at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern if you want to come by I ask some questions, I answer questions live, and I also play subscribers. Um, so if you're subscribed, we could definitely get a game in um, via via that live stream at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time every single every single evening. So uh, real quick, I got a question from one of my subscribers. And so if you guys ever want to submit Madden questions, maybe you have suggestions for videos or um, you just have Madden questions that you can't seem to figure out, feel free to always text me. Uh, my number is 812 216 Three six four four. It's also in the top left hand corner of your screen right here. But he asked if he could get a dollar three two six breakdown. So uh, I wanted to give you two plays that I really like out of the dollar three. Actually, I guess three. We're going to give you a man blitz, a zone blitz, and we're going to give you a zone uh, max coverage and a man max coverage. Okay. So really, really good defense in my opinion, especially if you have them in a must pass situation. So the way we're going to be labbing this up is we're going to be labbing this against three wide receiver sets one tight end, one running back. You really don't want to be running this against anything um, with heavier personnel sets. So you don't want to be running this against two tight end sets. You really don't want to be running this against two running back sets. But I highly recommend running this against three wide receiver sets. It gets really, really good pressure. And it's actually really interesting the way the pressure is going to work for today's video. Okay, so $1.326. And the audibles that we're going to have is we're going to have the spinner um, what I like to do is I actually like to put all of the coverages in my audibles. So I like to have the cover four drop. I like to have the cover two press. I like to have the cover three and the cover two man. And basically I'm going to come out in, instead of the cover three, what I'm going to use is I'm actually going to use this cover three cloud show two. Um, I think it's a very, very effective, um, cover, cover three cloud. Now, if you wanted to, you could, you know, sub. You can obviously sub this out if you wanted to maybe grab the the regular cover three. You don't have to run cover two. It's all up to you with what your audibles are. But the plays we're going to be going over um, specifically today is we're going to be going over the, the Max Sting three. We're going to be going over the uh, Spinner play uh, right there. And then we're going to be going over some different coverages. So I'm going to put those in my audibles. And uh, we're going to be going over cover three cloud and cover two man and spinner. And then we're also going to be covering, um, da, 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 let me find it here. Where did it go? Uh, Max Sting 3. Okay, so Max Sting 3 is kind of the base. And we do everything else really quickly on your coaching adjustments. Make sure to have auto flip on. Auto alignment, you can put it to default or you can put it to man align if you want to or even base align. Ball in air defense. Uh, I like to put this on play receiver. I've actually recently switched to that. I think it's very, very effective. Option defense on conservative. And then put your curl flats at 20 yards so we can take care of those crossing routes, some of those deep, deep type of routes. Okay, so the play we're going to be coming out in is Max Sting 3. Now on the offensive side of the ball, I'm just going to come out in a, uh, a formation that I would probably come out in if I was trying to get a, you know, a chunk play, maybe a spread, maybe bunch, you know, different things like that. And here's how we're going to set this blitz up. It's actually really, really simple. Literally, we're going to press coverage. And then from there, we're just going to use with a blitzing linebacker. So it could be Levante David. And what I like to do is crash my line out. So super, super simple. And I like to shade coverage down. So I'm going to be able to come down and play those hard flats and take away those quick reads um, that they might have. At the snap of the ball, I'm just going to come in right here, kind of occupy the guard. As you can see, you're going to get instant pressure off of the right side. Really, really simple blitz to set up. There's really no setup. Literally, we're going to press, and that's it. Now, you can experiment a little bit with this, and what you'll see here is you can actually, because it's a three-rec hook, it's kind, of a, it's kind of going to almost like bluff blitz the offensive line. So what you can do is if you stand right here, and again, your job as a user is to occupy the guard, but basically come right through the A-gap. And as you see here, see how quick the pressure comes off the edge? Because of that quick pressure off the edge, if you simply just stand like right here, you don't necessarily have to blitz the lineman. You could actually leave the lineman, um, the lineman in the three rack, and sometimes he'll blitz and sometimes he'll won't, and you know that will allow you some other opportunities. One other thing you can try, and I don't actually think I don't know if this will work for sure, but if we put that left side corner in a zone, 
what you'll see here and trying to run a little bit of a four man you do see that the line does shift to that so you know just be aware of that i like the five man pressure out of this i think it still gives you pretty good coverage um and again this is simply like i mean real technically this is kind of like four and a half but as you see here he's just going to go down kind of occupy that center and then you're going to be able to get that instant pressure super super simple to set up literally all you do is press coverage that's it literally it and then you just use her over the center as you see right there and you're going to get that edge heat now the man coverage is actually very very similar so what we're going to do is we're going to audible to the place spinner and all we're going to do is we're going to spread our line crash our line out uh, and then we're going to basically man up the linebacker on the side of the running back so we're going to man him up to the running back so we're going to be playing uh r1 is going to go uh levante david is going to man up on the running back and we're going to now use our devin white okay and the snap of the ball what you're going to see same theory applies but this time it's going to come off the left side depending on where your user is that's the side that it comes off so for example one of the things that i like to do like let's say i'm running mike blitz if i see something like this right here i might flip to play and the reason I might want to flip to play is because if they block their running back, sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes you'll actually still get edge heat um, if you use her, that weak side backer as a blitzer. Okay, so those are the two blitzes. They're super, super simple. Now, really quickly, if you want to get some really, really advanced um, defense, in my opinion, in my opinion, it's the best defense of the game. We cover the entire 46 playbook um, in our defensive ebook this year. So we literally cover 46, 3, 4, bear, 4, 6, normal, 4, 6, speed, 4, 6, bear, under, nickel, 3, 3, 5, nickel, 3, 3, 5, wide, nickel, normal, big nickel over G, and dollar, 3, 2, 6. So we cover the whole gamut of the 46 playbook in our defensive ebook. And so if you want to pick up that ebook, it's on sale right now. The link is in the description for the ebook. And if you want to get a free sample play, I actually have the big nickel over G as my sample formation. And we've provided that formation to our text message members. And so if you want to sign up for that, literally all you got to do is just pull out your cell phone and shoot me a text message and say, hey, Cody, what's up? My name is so-and-so, and I'd like to sign up for your uh, text message membership, which is completely free. And my number is 812 Two one six three six four four. Now here's the deal: you're not going to get an automated response right away because you're sending this to my personal cell phone. It's literally my personal cell phone that I use every single day. So be patient with me a little bit, but you will get a response. It'll be from me. I read every message that I get sent, and I respond to every message as soon as I possibly can. So I want to thank you guys so much for your support with that. It's been really, really effective, I think, and really helpful to a lot of people. But if you want to get that free sample, that's how you do it. All right, now let's show you guys the. Uh, coverages that you can do so you can actually do some really really good things with dollar three two six in my opinion coverage wise um, one of the things that we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna first cover how to cover out of man coverage so um, this is a really really good defense out of man coverage because you can get really really good press animations if they're in a spread or even a compression set right and all we're gonna do is we're gonna basically flip the man coverage so once again the linebacker on the side of the running back is the one main coverage so we're just gonna flip it you see here it literally looks exactly the same now the key with this coverage is what we're gonna do with our um, with our with our defensive tackle is we're gonna drop him into a bluff blitz so we're gonna bluff blitz him so he's gonna be on a three rec hook and then from there what I like to do is I like to take my safety that is going to the that is on the wide side of the field so if this was on the left hash it would be the right safety if it was on the right hash it would be the left safety if we're in the middle of the field then I'll typically do the safety that is to the strong side. So basically wherever I think they're gonna run a crossing route to, that's where I'm gonna do this to, okay? But we're gonna put R1 on a curl flat, and then we're gonna put our other safety on a deep middle zone. Now, if you wanted to, you could play two purples. You could do pretty much anything you wanted. But this is kind of my number one go-to formation. And basically, we're just going to play man coverage. Um, and we're going to allow these sheds to happen. In my opinion, dollar through two sex, you get really, really good sheds from only sending two people. So that's how you do the man coverage version. Now, the zone coverage versions are really, really fun coverage. It's the Cover 3 Cloud uh, Show 2. It's one of my favorite coverages to run in the entire game. All we're going to do is we're going to use her the cover two side. Okay, we're not going to use the cover three side. We're going to use the cover two side. So once again, we're going to set it up to make it look exactly the same as our blitz. But all we're going to do is we're going to take Levante David and we're going to drop him into a hard flat. 
And the same thing we're going to do over the middle of the field here. We're going to bluff blitz the defensive tackle. And then this left side slot, we can do a couple of different things with him if we want to. We can put him on a hard flat, or we could put him on a vert hook. Those are my two favorite adjustments. Or if we wanted to, we could play a hard flat to our outside corner and then put him on a purple zone. What I really like to do typically is I'll put him in a vert hook almost every time. This allows you to get really, really good middle coverage while at the same time still having a Mabel concept over the middle field. And as you can see here, this is a really, really good coverage. You're only sending two people, but you'll be surprised at how good the sheds work out for you out of the dollar three two six. So that's pretty much it, honestly. Um, that's our little mini scheme out of this. Now you'll notice, like if they run inside zone, um, you know you're not going to be able to stop it every time. But if you use her the linebacker, that's if you use her this linebacker right here, oftentimes you'll actually be surprised at at the inside zone. Of course, I get destroyed right there, part of it because I'm using two controllers. But you'll be surprised that inside zone is not going to kill you as much as you think it will, um, because you have five-man box. You have those outside contains pr practically that are going to do a really, really good job. But again, if they run inside zone, if you kind of stand like right here and just basically run straight down, you're going to be able to kind of contain it. And what I like to do is, again, you know, typically with the way that our blitzing scheme goes, we're going to use for one of these two linebackers. And so if I can get down in this A gap right here and kind of hover right behind this guy right here, oftentimes they'll actually miss me. I can get a quick shed and get into the back of the into the backfield uh, to be able to blow that up. Another thing you can do if you wanted to is you could bring this guy over here, you know, and then you could maybe use her safety. Um, there's there's ways to stop the inside zone. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about inside zone. Remember, you're not going to go to this as an every down defense. In my opinion, this is more of a, a passing. You, you forced them into a passing situation, so now you're going to go to a little package that's really, really good for stopping the pass. So that's the dollar three two six. Now, if you want to get again, if you want to get the full defensive ebook, we cover a ton of stuff. The best defenses in the entire game. All the pros use um, some version of some of the things we discuss, and we actually discuss some things that even pros I don't think are using right now. So if you want to pick up the ebook, it's in the description of this video. Um, it's been helping people win a lot of weekend league games. It's been helping people win CFMs. It's been helping people that win money games for cash, whether it be head to head or mutt. Um, so again, it's kind of worked in every little facet of. The game so if you're looking to really get better on the defensive side of the ball i'd highly encourage you to go ahead and pick up that ebook the link is in the description below and if you want a sample formation go ahead and shoot me a text my number is 812-216-3644 our next video is going to be live tonight at eight o'clock p.m eastern time i want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we'll see you on our live stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern